Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, the Prime Minister's chief policy advisor has apologised for remarks he made about black communities in the days after the 1985 London riots. In a newly released memo, Oliver Letwin, who was then advisor to Margaret Thatcher, blamed the unrest on bad moral attitudes. Harry Smith reports. The riot on the Broadwater Farm estate in North London in 1985 was one of the worst disturbances to hit mainland Britain in recent times. Along with serious unrest in Brixton and other mainly black inner city areas, it prompted much official soul searching, which put the blame on high unemployment and social deprivation. But one young advisor to the Thatcher government had quite a different view. 30 year old documents released by the National Archive show Letwin saying riots, criminality, and social disintegration are caused solely by individual characters and attitudes. Commenting on a plan to encourage young black entrepreneurs to set up in business, his memo dismissed it, saying they will set up in the disco and drug trade. Political opponents condemned the remarks. Even 30 years ago, had he said those views publicly, people would have been shocked. And they were clean contrary to the Scarman report, which looked into urban disturbances in 1981. It shows a complete ignorance for what was going on in the different black communities in the UK in the 1980s. Mr. Letwin later issued a statement saying parts of the memo were both badly worded and wrong, and he apologised unreservedly for any offence caused. But his critics say that does not go far enough from a cabinet minister who is still an influential Downing Street advisor. The cabinet office minister Oliver Letwin has apologised unreservedly for any offence caused when he suggested in 1985 that bad moral attitudes in black communities were to blame for inner city riots. Mr Letwin's comments were made in a confidential memo to the then Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, as our political correspondent Vicky Young reports. Houses burnt to the ground and police pelted with petrol bombs. On the Broadwater estate in North London, one officer was murdered by a mob wielding knives. As riots broke out in cities across England, Margaret Thatcher and her ministers debated the causes and how they should respond. Some told her that urban deprivation in largely black communities was partly to blame. But one young Downing Street advisor disagreed. In his memo to Mrs Thatcher, Oliver Letwin wrote, Lower class unemployed white people lived for years in appalling slums without a breakdown of public order on anything like the present scale. He added that attempts to improve inner cities would fail so long as bad moral saying they would set up in the disco and the drug trade. Critics say Mr Letwin's comments show how totally out of touch he was with what was actually going on here in Tottenham 30 years ago, with no mention of the high unemployment, the poor housing and the growing anger at the way that the police were treating the black community. Oliver Letwin went on to become an MP. A couple sufficient. And today he's David Cameron's policy chief. Some Labour MPs say his comments are evidence of a racist view of the world. Others say they raise questions about his role in government. There must be a real concern about Tory party policy in relation to the inner cities when Oliver Letwin is leading on all the Tory party policy and we know that he held views like these. Mr Letwin has apologised for any offence caused, saying parts of the memo were badly worded and wrong. Friends say fighting discrimination is a priority for Conservatives. It isn't the real Oliver Letwin speaking in that note. He's a very civilised and enlightened person. And I think the real message is that over the 30 years since that note was written, uh, attitudes have been absolutely transformed. The Broadwater estate is also transformed with better housing and little crime. Mr Letwin's critics want to know that his views have changed with the times too. Vicky Young, BBC News. I've been getting away with it all.